When the voice of God sounds throughout the earth to deliver His people, those who have chosen the side of the enemy realize they have lost everything. All who have selfishly hoarded wealth to themselves to the neglect of those in need have their lifetime of gain swept away in a moment. The wicked are filled with regret, not because of their sinful neglect of God and their fellow man, but because God has conquered. They do not repent of their wickedness and would do anything to conquer if they could. The pastors and preachers who have ignored Bible truth in order to be popular now see the evil of their course as they behold the wretched, lost souls around them. They have healed the injuries of my people's daughter only slightly by saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Your lies have made the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and you have caused the wicked not to turn from their evil ways by promising them life in their sins. Misery and sorrow be to the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. The rich and famous, who the world has worshipped for their talents and eloquence, down to the most common rejectors of Bible truth, now see things in their true light. Beyond expression is the longing they feel for that which they have forever lost, eternal life. The false teachers who led the people to ignore God's law and to persecute those who kept it holy now confess their work of deception. And their followers, who were about to destroy God's people, instead turn on these false teachers with destruction. Everywhere is fighting and bloodshed. For six thousand years, Christ and his angels have been fighting Satan and his angels to warn and save the people of earth. Now all have made their decision. The wicked are fully united with Satan to fight against God, and God will clear the charges made against his law. While those who have been sorrowing for the wickedness in the earth will be sealed and protected by God, all others will be destroyed by the angel of death. The work of destruction will begin with those false teachers who professed to be spiritual protectors of the people. The Lord comes to punish the people of the earth for their wickedness, and they that are destroyed by the Lord will be all over the earth. No one will mourn for them or take their bodies to be buried. When Christ returns, the wicked are destroyed by the brightness of his glory, and Jesus takes his people with him to the city of God. At that time, there will be no living people on the earth. The Lord makes the earth empty, turns it upside down, and scatters the people everywhere. The earth will be completely emptied and disfigured, for the Lord has spoken this word. Because they have disobeyed his laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant, this is the reason the earth has been devoured by the curse, and why those that dwell in it are desolate and burned, and few of them left. The whole earth looks like a wasted desert. Cities are destroyed by the earthquake. Trees and enormous rocks are ripped out of the earth and thrown everywhere. Giant craters appear where mountains were torn from the earth. Now the event takes place that was symbolized by the last ceremony of the Jewish Day of Atonement. After the high priest's work in the most holy place was finished, and the sins of Israel had been removed from the sanctuary through the blood of the sin offering, then the scapegoat was presented alive before the Lord. In front of all the people of Israel, the high priest confessed over the scapegoat all the evil acts of the children of Israel and all their disobedience in all their sins, putting them upon the head of the scapegoat. In the same way, after Christ finishes his work of atonement in the heavenly sanctuary, 
All will watch as the sins of God's people are placed upon Satan. Satan will be declared guilty of all the evil which he caused them to commit. In the Jewish type, the scapegoat was not sacrificed. This is another reason we know the scapegoat represents Satan. The Bible teaches that without shedding of blood is no remission. So the scapegoat could not represent Jesus, since the blood of the scapegoat is not shed. And just as the scapegoat was sent away alive into an uninhabited land, so Satan will be banished to this earth in its empty, barren condition. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, the deep, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid holes on the dragon, that old serpent which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, the deep, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, until the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that he must be loosed a little season. The bottomless pit into which Satan is thrown means the abyss, or the deep, and represents the earth in its desolate, barren condition. The same description given to the earth in the beginning, when the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The prophet Jeremiah tells us this will be the condition of the earth again after the second coming of Jesus. I saw the earth and wondered. It was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I observed the mountains with amazement. They trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I looked with great interest. There was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. I saw with wonder. The fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of the Lord and by his fierce anger. For this is what the Lord has said, The whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not make a full end. For a thousand years Satan and his evil angels will be banished to this earth in its desolate and ruined condition. At that time the earth will be emptied of its inhabitants, no one for Satan to tempt or deceive. It is in this sense that Satan will be chained and bound. He will be stuck here, restricted from doing his work of inciting evil, which he loves. For a thousand years Satan will wander through the wreckage of the earth, left to consider the results of his rebellion against God's law. During this time his sufferings are intense. Before this time he had been continually busy carrying out his work of evil. But now Satan is left to realize the terrible results of his work. He must look forward with trembling and terror to the time when he must suffer for all the evil he has done and the sins he has caused. The people of God will then be filled with gladness that the one who tempted and brought them so much sorrow is no longer able to afflict them. Now God's people shall be priests of God and of Christ and rule with him for a thousand years. At this time the saints shall judge the world. During the thousand years, while the wicked are in their graves, their life records will be revealed. And Christ, along with his people, will decide a fair punishment for each case. Satan and his evil angels will also be judged. Don't you know that we will judge angels? But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. After the thousand years, the second resurrection takes place when the wicked will be raised from the dead to appear before God and receive the execution of their judgment.